significant disadvantage if you're sticking with DOD as your only character. Oh, needs to be uh, Avalon. This, oh, they're going right into this. Huh? Yeah. Wow. Because they're trying to get out of here. They had like an hour drive ahead of them. Okay, I think he goes by Riz now. Yeah, well, Riz was his original tag, and they, they call him Avalon sometimes, but... He said after the new year, or after Genesis, he wants to be Riz now. Mm -hmm. I talked to him, he was playing some melee. Is that two Z's or one? Uh, it's just one, one Z. Okay. And then I press what? Oh. Uh, Mm. Uh, just, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, oh. Gunblade opting to go Dark Pit, um, again, he's kind of unpredictable with his character choices, but Dark Pit being a lot more solid uh, ever since that patch, his side B kills ridiculously low. Um, so we're going to see how this works out for him here, if he's able to take advantage of those early kills, um, and how he plays- Ooh! That almost killed at 63. Oh, that zero got really big. Still figuring this out. And then is there a fart? Size? I mean... Hold up, I'll be right back. Uh, it's, uh, it's charming. It's a charmingly large zero. Uh, I'm sorry, folks. Uh, I'm MP Gulick. I'm not very good at the uh, technical aspect of this. Or, you know, the commentary. But, um... You know, I'm gonna do my best solo here. Of course, I want to find some technical help for this big zero. But uh, anyway, we're seeing hit right now from Arch, which is really interesting. I uh, didn't know he had a pit. But, you know, so it is uh, Riz slash Avalon. You know, he has the very Optimized Sheik, like I was saying. He plays the game a lot. He's an HBA sponsored player. Um, so. the, the zero got big. We don't know how to make it small. Again. <laughs> got you, fam. The zero got big. The zero, I made the zero too big, and zero, now it's like fam. it's like we don't want Riz to win or something. <laughs> we we're saying he's got zero. He's got zero. All right, that's fine. Oh, oh, now they're like, yeah, that's annoying. Oh, there we go. There there go. go. <laughs> All right, so we have this um this game still going on. Obviously, Gunblade. Playing nah, the no. dark pit and oh, uh, it is gunblade. Yes, it is. I was talking about arch for some reason. Oh yeah, arch is arch. <laughs> oh boy. All right, so yep, we have Rizner uh, again doing very well. Uh, caught him with the 50-50, but gunblade with the good di, uh, it's going to survive that up the Get those jabs in there. Um, one thing about pitch jab is very rarely are you going to want to go for the uh, the multi jab. It does do good damage. But, um, it's just, ooh, and that side B is going to kill. Wow. Gunblade takes game one. All right. But, yeah, um, oh, yeah, Pitt's jab, um, that third hit just it has less lag, uh, allows for more uh, pressure for the follow-up, and, um, it does decent damage anyway, so there's never really any uh, reason to put yourself in the position of, I'm using the multi-jab, I am getting damage, but they could possibly DI, uh, get a hard punish. Um, you might as well just take the stage control, take the damage from the, the triple jab, and call it a day. Um, but as we jump into game two here, we're going to see if Prisoner made adjustments. Um, possibly he might not even have be, been familiar with Gunblade's uh, Dark Pit. It might be a little bit new, because uh, I've never seen him use Dark Pit before. So we're going to see uh, exactly how good this, this Dark Pit is. Yeah, I'm thinking, uh, you know, since these players are, are playing together so often, I think Gunblade's just trying to surprise them with a weird character choice. Which, you know, worked once, so it's good to see. But it looks like Gunblade's uh, playing a little bit more, I mean, sorry, Risner's playing a little bit more solid here, uh, getting those good percents in there. Um, Alright, Gunblade, ooh. He's definitely uh, familiar with punishing those, uh, those with cheat options. She has so few, uh, Punishable options. Oh, uh, very few. And uh, he's just catching the ones that he needs to catch, but he's getting hit by a lot of up airs right now. Uh, these two players, they uh, if you meet them in real life, they could not be more different. Oh, yeah, very. Uh, ooh, and we have the pit side wow. beam killing. Reverse hit on 77. <laughs> the jank hitbox. Wow. But um, we're going to see how. How Riz comes back from that uh, that surprising kill. 
Riz, you know, you have kind of the classic gamer quietly pressing buttons really fast. And Gunblade, you know, is very confident. He comes in with kind of swagger kind of guy. And uh, it's just it's very interesting because these guys came together and they're just perfect foils to each other. Absolutely. So it looks like uh, Riz right here, he, uh, he's just kind of playing a safe game. Uh, making for Gunblade to make a mistake, do a punishable nice option. Yeah, these guys, uh, like really just trump the ledge like it's nothing. Mm -hmm. Me, I get hyped whenever I land a ledge. <laughs> Go boy. No, it's definitely something I've been trying to uh, incorporate into my play a little bit more too. It's hard because you have to like really, it's like, with Didi, I can only imagine. Because he's so floaty, it's probably a little bit timing, a little bit strange. Yeah, it's, it seems to be harder with certain characters than others. I don't know what factor. Into that, but, uh, yes. Something interesting to note about Dark Pit's side B on recovery is um, if he hits you with that first side B uh, coming from the off stage, if you hold shield, that second side B will break shield, so you should never try to shield two pit side Bs when he's coming on the stage. This looks like pretty much anyone's game. Absolutely. Oh, Riz being in the perfect spot to get away from that kick down smash. Such a good move. We were talking about it before. His down smash um, actually only has one more frame of uh, of lag. Huh? Whoa, whoa, what? Oh, dude, come on. Sorry, that's, what he, that's literally what he told me. Ah, oh, oh, man. I'm so sorry. He got that's, me. I'm that, oh, sorry. Don't tell, don't tell Sal I told you that. But anyway, Wait, what happened? Oh, they knew? Yeah, yeah he's like, no, I'll go back there and just tell him like, the most bullshit thing. I'm like, what should I tell him? Uh, uh, Alright. Like he's like, sure, yeah, I'll, I'll go back. Just, just act like you're surprised. So Wait, what's like, the problem, bro? I don't think there's a problem. They just want to talk to me or something. No, I'm sorry. I thought that was a little bit too much, too. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> You're like, I'm alright. Anyway, so I guess now I'm, now I'm back here. Joey's uh, out for a second. Change to a 1. If you don't, we got, um, so it's 1-1 one, one here, Grand Finals, uh, Risner versus Gunblade, and Gunblade's still opting to go to Dark Pit. I think this is the longest I've seen him stick with a character in the set all night. Is this Grand um, Yes, it is. Oh, yeah, you have to change that too, sorry. It's all good. Okay, right, it's right into a Grand Finals road, a 1-1 one, one matchup right now. Gunblade is Dark Pit, if I'm correct, yeah? Yes, he is using Dark Pit. Um, obviously, the most optimal of the pits. That side B is just ridiculous. Yo, um, I love the the angle that they improved on the past like uh, match was well, made absolutely. It a lot I mean, they gave it a small knockback buff as well, but it was the angle that really was the uh, the MVP in that patch. Yeah, That's such a good angle. It kills very early now. Good job, new regrab. Like right now, um, usually uh, this would be a safe percent for both of them. I mean. Obviously, Sheik has that uh, that up B out of her down throw, which will kill about now. Um, and he's in 50-50 range, but Pit's side B will actually kill right now if he's not center stage. Um, if it's anywhere by the ledge, that's going to secure a stock. So um, always having that option, always having that in your opponent's head that if they miss a shield or if they uh, throw out an option that can be super armored by Pit's side B, and they're going to die. It's a very scary thing to deal with. Yeah, Pit's side B is another story, man. Uh... As you can see right there, it does exceptional shield damage, and it's pr it's relatively safe, you know. It has super armor, so even if they throw out um, an option, wow, oh, beautiful right stage spike with Absolutely. the gun there. They will, nice um, lingering hitbox out there, and it looks like, oh, it's not going to be an it's, SD. Um, actually, for all of you who aren't familiar with Pit, um, that side B does not put you into helpless. Um, but if you do it anywhere below the ledge, you're not going to be able to up me in time to make it back. Yeah, the first active frame is quite long on that one. Mm -hmm, absolutely. <laughs> Yo, give me one second. I'll figure this out for you. <laughs> oh my god, you are wildin' right now. I will give it to you. Peace out. Have a good night. Later. Wait, wait hold up. Why is West? How is he leaving? He's leaving. Yeah, we're not. We're not doing that tonight. Oh my it's god. For next, for next week, it's more hype. I All guess. Right. Everybody's tired. But anyway, we're right back into this match. She tries to get that nasty down throw uh, air dodge into up B read. Sheik's up B does have quite the sweet spot. Alright. 
So yeah, it looks like um, Risner is doing extremely well at holding his lead right now. Uh, he's not giving uh, Gunblade any punishable options okay. to, uh, to deal with. Okay, well, he's went for the air dodge bait again. He's going for the 50-50, but he right really now, was. that's not going to be really an option. Pits at too high a percent. Oh, and My a goodness. solid back air on the ledge is going to cost him that stock, ending the game. 2-1 wow. Riz Gunblade. So Riz is in, is in winners and Gunblade is coming back from his Absolutely. So okay. it's a 2-0. It's a 2-1 situation right now. Um, Gunblade needs to pull two games together to reset the bracket. Um, if he you know, can pull it. Oh, what? He's choosing to opt the pit. An interesting choice. Pit's um, options over Dark Pit only being uh, F tilt. And uh, his arrows, obviously, um, yeah, they're more maneuverable as you play Pit, and they only do 2% less damage. Honestly, I prefer Pit's neutral B over Dark Pit. Oh no, pits absolutely. Pit definitely has a superior projectile, but it's just Dark Pit's side B is so good now that it's, it's, uh, it's not really enough to, to want to use that character. Ooh, Ooh interesting. If he did a uh, two-frame punish down A right there, that would have been a spectacular sight. One good thing about Pit is, um, again, like besides the, the fact that he can bend his um, his arrows so efficiently, is that his um, Ooh, nice tech. tech. That was a beautiful tech, but it's that F tilt. Um, Dark Pit's F tilt actually has 30 less base knockback than Pit's. So um, it doesn't kill that. until ridiculous, uh, practically unusable percents, but it can set up some interesting tech chase situations, so it's not completely useless. Wow, but um, hits F-Tilt will kill around 131. Yeah, it has a tipper on it as well, right? Absolutely. It's a very good spacing tool. Uh, I, I noticed that it was good. I don't play Pit, but when I've been playing against good Pits, I noticed that like uh, retreating Pit and forward tilts are a really good option when you're trying to space them out on the ground, but you can, uh, if you don't see it coming, it's just quite easily overcome by like uh, a simple outspaced aerial. But... Playing as someone like Sheik, her, her hitbox gets like smaller, her hurtbox gets smaller like when she does like those short hops and those forwarders, which makes her like so good. You know, just sitting there short hopping like her, you know, she's got this little hitbox going up and down, it's so hard to get to. And then the fact that she has uh, better aerials for the most part than like any other character in the whole game and her speed and her ability just like categorize her in a different different way than any of the other characters. Yeah, it looks like Risner is actually getting in, oh, and that's going to be an SD. Um, 64% extra credit. Uh, it's definitely not impossible. You can uh, make up a lot of percent on this, but we'll see how we. Uh, yeah, I want to see Gun. I want to see Gunblade do some uh, some, some cool stuff. Yeah. All right, so solid 20%. Yeah, those 50-50s those are definitely a really good options going in for the up air, you know, that's not going to happen this time, he's going to jump away, you know, let me get the uh, air dodge out of him so I can get that up B punish, because, you know, constantly going in with, uh, with up airs after the throw, it's like, you never know what to do, should I jump out of it, should I up beat? should I uh, air dodge, you know, mm -hmm. you don't know. One thing that a lot of uh, players don't know is uh, with Pit, actually, he has, it's not really an infinite, it's percent spe specific, you is have to the, start the falling? it. Up airs? No, actually, he has that on mul multiple characters, but this is a sheet wow. specific thing. Um, if he does a down throw at around 10 to 15 percent, and then does a falling fair afterwards, um, because fair has so many active frames in the hitbox, and it takes a while, it, takes him down to it the refreshes the grab timer, and he can actually do falling fair into grab on Sheik. So it's down throw, falling fair, grab. Down throw, falling fair, grab. He can do that about three times before they're out of percent. If he catches them, that's interesting. I did not know that.